This gotta be the best installation that I've done in a while. And it actually works normally. What's going on guys? It's Tammy again. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done an update on the W204, but um, a lot has happened in the last couple of months or years, should I say, um, from the steering wheel video to the instrument cluster and all sort of shebangs that I've done to the car. Um, I still have the car for those people always asking me if I still have the car. Yes, I still do have the car. It's right here. Um, never had any problems, anything major, just regular maintenance. Uh, I'm close to 170,000 miles now and um, the car is still running fine. So if you're thinking of a used car, I still think the W204 chassis uh, are still the best option for that price range. There's a catch though. Just make sure the car is made in Germany. The other ones are Right, so today, get to the main video for today. Um, what I have here, I've been seeing BMWs recently having like this all digital instrument cluster and I've been looking for one for this particular car. I've seen for the facelifts for like the 2015 upwards, um, W205 rather. Uh, I've not really seen anything for W204. And then I was looking around and I saw one but then still doesn't fit the pre facely that was post facely so a couple of weeks ago um i got an email from these guys at car life mall shout out to rock uh, and they were like hey man we have something for the w204 uh there's a usb i don't think i'll be needing that why would i want to connect a usb to my uh to my instrument cluster, right? <laughs> uh, if you want a proper unboxing video, I think there are other YouTube channels for you to check out. Uh, this is what it looks like. That is gorgeous, guys. That is gorgeous. That, is, that looks beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, so this is what my car looks like right now. I have the... the I mean, I'm close to 70,000 miles right there. 170,000 miles. No, nope. this is quite easy. You just want to pop the plastic thing up. Uh, I think I explained this a little bit better in the other video. So I'm going to make this really quick, as quick as possible. Um, ignore that sound. Uh, I want to take this out. I don't think we'll be needing this anymore. Hey, you never know. And uh, I'm not sure what the... Oh, yeah. I knew, I remember I had a difficult time taking that out the last time, so... Hopefully I get better luck this time. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just look at that. The set is plug and play. Oh, I guess you can plug that USB thing here, but I don't think I need that. I, you know, it's just too much going on. Yeah. Just plug that back in and that's that. Oh, hello, people. It's on. Okay. I think I just gotta put it correctly. This is actually easy to install, guys. Uh, it's not complicated at all. If this is your first DIY project, you can actually get away with it. Yeah, just plug in the rear end and lock it in. And immediately it powered on. They swore to me it was plug and play. Guess we're about to pull that to a test here. Okay. Hmm. There is something about that leg though. There is something about this leg right here that just doesn't sit right with me. So I'm just gonna pull that in first and push this in as much as I can. 
Okay, there we go. You just gotta. So it has two clips on the edge, and you just wanna push those two metal leads back. Like those two. I'm not sure you guys can see here. I use my older camera. Okay. These two clips right here. These two clips right here, these and these, you have to push them down just a little bit just to get them to fit in that place. And you want to align them to the screw holes over there. And yeah, that's about it. And after that, I guess we're all good to go. You can just pull back the old cover and screw it back in. Um, yeah, it looks good, guys. Uh, it fits right in, it just, just the right measurements. I didn't have to do any adjustment whatsoever. So, before I screw anything in, <laughs> get your mind out of the water. Oh, look at that. Here we go, guys. It's, it works. It's plug and play. I do have a check engine light on, though. I'm not sure if that. Oh, it's not a check engine light because I didn't start my car. Now that I started. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. I have my gallon, my gas here. Oh my God. This is. Pro oh. Oh. Look. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this gotta be the coolest thing I've installed on my car in the last 80 years that I've owned the car. <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Just look at that! You could get really confused to what year this car is right now <laughs> on my dash. All right, so all we have to do now is uh, screw the screws back into the screw holes. Careful here, so the screws don't fall in. Um, we don't want that to happen. Uh, that could be catastrophic. So. Just screw it back in. The two top ones up here. That's pretty convenient, though, if you ask me. about it just reverse the old process and we're good to go
because it really doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna have to take this right here. So this is just a side note before you um, put this back, you want to tape this because it's not connecting to anything there and it could just fall off and you don't want to leave that spot open. So what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to tape it in, duct tape it in and yeah, it shouldn't go anywhere. More duct tape. So that way secured and it's not gonna go anywhere okay. and again this is optional guys It actually really works and it doesn't just work, it works well. That's me raving. <laughs> this is really perfect and it's a perfect combination to my already existing Android screen and this just makes my car looks like, I don't know, something from 2021 or something closer. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> So far, for me, I have no cons whatsoever with this. Um, my gas work, meter works, like everything works and even better. 
um, I now have TPM sensor. Now my car is a 2008, don't forget that part. Um, I only get a signal or a, uh, or a warning sign when my but my when one of my tires is low it doesn't tell me which one but with this screen right now i can tell which particular one uh, is actually low i can see the pressure monitor on each of the tires which is amazing by the way because the rate at which car prices are going down the drain right now oh man i'm telling you <laughs> you got an old one that works and you can upgrade and do stuff to it for cheap i think that's amazing uh, and I think the car is worth keeping. Thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, keep fixing stuff. And if you like content like this, don't hesitate to uh, like, subscribe, and share with anybody that would like to watch the video. All right, catch you in the next one.